So now I'm quickly going to go through the process that I went through in editing my DOSBox config file in order to get the best possible sound performance in DOSBox on my Tezro Quad 1 GHz machine. This process worked for me. The process that you follow might differ slightly depending on the machine that you're using. But this is the process that I went through in order to set up the sound for DOSBox on this machine. I'm going to get things started by locating and opening my DOSBox config file. Next, I'll open up Windows 3.11 in DOSBox. Now I'm quickly going to take a look at the entries that need to be edited in the config file in order to alter the sound characteristics in DOSBox. The heading that you're looking for is the mixer heading and the point of interest here is the block size. As you can see it says that by altering the block size to a larger value it will help with stuttering however it will introduce more lag into the system. So this is the value that I'm going to play with initially. It initially had 4096 as the value set and it only had 2048 as the option. So I introduced the option of 1024 which I'll discuss later in this video. So let's take a look at the original sound performance. I'm going to get things started by opening up Jezball. And as you can see, there's a pretty significant lag in sound here. And this certainly doesn't make for a pleasant gaming experience. Next I'll open up Block Breaker to confirm the lag and as well confirm that it presents itself as a problem in more than one application. The lag's even more pronounced with this one. Lastly, I'm going to open up Dynablaster as this is a more demanding application and the sound issue should present itself more obviously here. The lag significant and it certainly doesn't help to provide you with a pleasant gaming experience. So let's see what we can do about this. I'm going to start off by shutting down DOSBox because in order for the changes which I make to the config file to take effect, DOSBox will have to be reloaded. Okay, for some reason DOSBox won't allow me to unlock my mouse from the window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart Windows to see if I can do that within Windows. I know there should be a button somewhere to quit DOSBox, but I don't know what it is right now. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go through this process incrementally. So I'm going to start off by setting up a block size of 2048 to see what changes it makes.
There's a significant improvement in performance here, however, it's still not perfect. So I'm going to make a further adjustment to see if I can improve it a bit more. So this time I'll set the block size to 1024. I'm quickly going to take a look at Block Breaker again as this game probably works best to show up lag. Okay, that's much better. Okay, that's much better as far as the timing goes. However, let's see if we can make an adjustment to see if we can improve the sound quality. I'm going to start off by lowering the rate to 8000 to see what effect this has. Let's see if it affects performance in any way. You can already hear by that chime that it sounds terrible. No, that won't do. So 8000 is definitely not an option here. So let's go ahead and try 22,050 and see if it negatively impacts performance.
That sounds significantly better and as you can see there's no performance hit at all. Lastly, to properly demonstrate the difference in sound quality, I'm going to show you the sound playing at 22,050 and convert it from there to 11,025. So from this experimentation, you can clearly see that the sweet spot is a sample rate of 22,050 with a block size of 1024. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching.